Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can use AI in conjunction with um, Unique Learning System to expand your lessons and be able to save time too when it comes to planning. So um, I have ChatGPT pulled up and let me show you guys something first though. So I have um, these core content connectors. I forget where these are from. I wanna say they're from like Wisconsin or something, but my district gave these um, to me. They found them online somewhere. And right now I'm gonna focus on um, the standard RL.7.2, which is to determine a theme or a central idea of a text. Um, the reason I'm picking this one is because it's a priority standard for my district. So if you look over here, you have the standard and you have it like basically simplified or broken down. And then over here you have um, what they're calling level four, level three, level two students, which should sound really familiar um, if you use a unique learning system in the way that it breaks down the different levels of students. So the central idea of this um, this standard is to determine the relationship of the central idea to the details of a story. And then it says, it gives you a couple of, of examples. So given a list of details from a story, identify those that do and do not relate to the central idea. So this right here is what I'm going to be focusing on, okay? So what I did was I went into Unique Learning System and I downloaded a story called Aika's Wedding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. And let me see if I can move this. Okay. And I'm going to, first off, I'm going to click this attach button. And I'm going to upload from computer. If you have something saved in your Google Drive, uh, or I think the other option was Dropbox, you can do that too. But I have Aika's wedding. I'm going to click open. And it's going to upload it. And then I'm going to tell ChatGPT to create a list of 10 mixed questions that do and do not relate to the attached story. And I might have to ask the clarifying questions as I go, but um, I'm going to go ahead and send that. And then it's going to spit this out. So What it did was it gave me questions relating to the story and questions not relating to the story. So it gave me five here and five here for a total of 10. So what I'm gonna do is tell ChatGPT to mix both lists into one list. randomize the order and let's see if it did what i wanted it to do so what role does quinn play where does Aunt? yeah so it already did, it already did that um so here's the mix and randomized list of questions. What role does Quinn play in ensuring everyone can attend the wedding? So the thing is, is that I, um, these are more comprehension questions to me. Um, I did not want questions and I should have looked at that ahead of time. So what did I say? Create a list of 10 mixed questions. So um, instead of questions, let's do instead of questions make this list statements that do and do not relate to the the story Okay, so um, show me the correct answers based on whether it relate, oops, relates or does not relate to the story. Uh, 
Oh, so what it did was it broke it back down. But that's okay. Sometimes you'll get a, a response where next to each question, it'll show you, it'll say does relate, does not relate, et cetera, et cetera. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this information and I am going to create an activity for my students that they can grab and work on um, through Google Classroom that I can assign. So what I'm going to simply do is I'm going to create a table, which is somewhere in here. Insert, oh yeah, table. And then drag this, oops, let's drag in the whole thing. Let me see if I can make just this bottom half. And uh, you can use whatever words you want. I'm going to put relates and does not relate. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this over so I have space to work with on this, the side. And let's make a text box here. And I, I mean, I'm just doing this as a quick example, but you can, um, and I am going to be playing around with the sizing and everything of it. So let me go back. I'm going to move this tab over here. Okay. So relating, so Quinn plays a key role in ensuring everyone can attend Aika's wedding. You know what I'm going to do actually is sh is uh, make these shorter. So shorten each statement. So Quinn ensures everyone can attend Aunt Aika's wedding. So I'm going to take that, copy it, paste it. As you can tell, this is like way too big. Um, and I'm going to make it much smaller. And then what I'm going to do is copy it and then paste it. So and bring it down. Oh, wait, it, sh it shared it in the same box. I know there's a way to do this uh, where you can just replicate the, um, the text box. I know how to do it on Canva. Um, okay, well, anyway, let's just create a new text box. And then we'll go to the next question. So let's do one that doesn't relate. So long distance travel options in the US are varied, which honestly, that one could or could not relate. But again, just for example's sake, I'm going to do this and make that one a lot smaller so that it fits. And basically what I would do is I would go through and I would make each statement so that it fit over here. I could probably make this chart smaller, but the objective that I would want for my students to do is to drag these statements into one of two categories, which is relates or does not relate. So Quinn assures everyone can attend Aunt Aika's wedding. I'm going to put over here in relates and then does not relate. The long distance travel options are varied. I'm going to put that under does not relate. So this is another way that you can expand um, and go outside of the box of using um, the stories from Unique Learning System so that you're not um, uh, just relying simply on the worksheets that they give you. Um, just an idea, especially uh, using AI to speed up the process greatly. And um, I'm sure there are ways you could even use AI to make presentations like this based on uh, what 
chat GPT spits out to you. So anyway, thank you for watching. Any questions, comments, um, suggestions, I'm always open. Um, if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel for more unique learning system ideas and content. And I will see you guys in the next video.